So, hello my friends, Devon Lennox here, Photography PX. In today's video, we will cover the top 10 best travel cameras. Do know you can find timestamps and links in the description down below, as well as the pinned comment. And also know this is not a sponsored video. Let's get started. Travel photos capture our treasured memories and give us immediate access to revisit the excitement and thrills of holidays and vacations. And we usually take more pictures on vacation than any other time. So understandably, it's important to capture our precious memories in all their glory. Thankfully, you're not stuck lugging around a bulky DSLR or fully built mirrorless setup just to get high quality photos. Granted, you still see the odd tourists sweating it out under the weight of these bulky setups from time to time. No, friend, you have more options than these typical setups without the unnecessary strain and hassle. Sure, you could use your smartphone, and yes, today's smartphones are incredibly capable and apt to do the job, but a dedicated camera offers better manual control, handling, and far superior image quality, even more so if you plan on printing images from your trip. Today's travel cameras offer DSLR-level image quality, but thankfully are substantially easier to carry than before, and the best travel cameras combine portability, versatility with outstanding image quality. Many cameras deliver pro-level quality to showcase your vacation in its full glory, but like many areas of photography, there's more than meets the eye to the perfect travel camera, and there's plenty of options depending on your preferences for sensor size, form factor, and versatility. And options range from the ultra compact point and shoots to mid range interchangeable lens cameras. In this video, we've compiled a list of the top 10 best travel cameras that are perfect for your next trip. We've also compiled a detailed guide on how to choose a travel camera and the considerations you'll want to think about based on the type of traveler you are. You can find that particular link in the description down below or the pinned comment. If you're on our website, scroll down and you can see that full guide. Also of note, this video is more general than our other top 10 guides and posts. Choosing the right camera here will depend heavily on your particular needs. So the cameras featured in this particular list are more diverse than otherwise. Coming in at number 10, Sony's A6400. Sony's A6400 was their first testing bed for their eventual firmware genius. Released in 2019, it features a 24.2 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor, 4K UHD 24P, and 1080p full HD video up to 120p. It also has a 3-inch tilting touchscreen, an EVF, weather ceiling, time-lapse, log profiles, a microphone input, a built-in flash, and wireless connectivity. It uses Sony's 425 point phase detect autofocusing system, a proven system among several of their cameras in their current lineup. However, it was the first camera to debut real-time tracking, which uses an element of AI or machine learning for autofocusing. This allows the camera to focus in as little as 0.02 seconds, which was class leading at the time. With this single innovation, Sony's A6400 single-handedly became the strongest APS-C camera released in 2019. Real-time tracking is a game-changing feature that significantly streamlines acquiring focus. Gone are the days of configuring autofocusing settings, setting custom buttons, and the like. Instead, the autofocus just works and is confident at all times. The A6400 was also the first A6000 series camera to debut unlimited video recording time, a key selling feature in this class. Plus, the camera also offers a powerful burst rate of 11 frames per second using the mechanical shutter with full autofocusing support. And combined, it's quite powerful for capturing tricky sports and wildlife scenes. Overall, Sony's A6400 is a substantial upgrade over its predecessor and was the camera to solidify Sony's dominance in software innovation. And as a package, it's a strong all-rounder that offers a large APS-C size sensor with glass-leading auto-focusing and unlimited video recording to boast. Coming in at number 9, Panasonic's LX100 Mark II. Panasonic's LX100 II is their premium compact camera. Released in 2018, it features a 17 megapixel micro four thirds sensor, a 24 to 75 millimeter equivalent lens, 
4K UHD 30p and 1080p Full HD 60p. It also has a 3 inch touchscreen, optical stabilization, and EVF. 4K photo, the sequence composition mode, post focus, focus stacking, time lapse, stop motion, and wireless connectivity. It uses Panasonic's 49 area contrast based autofocusing system with depth from defocusing technology. What sets this particular camera apart is that Panasonic has managed to pack a large micro four thirds sensor into an otherwise small compact camera. And this sensor is 1.6 times larger than the comparable one inch sensors found in most rivals in this particular category. And this larger sensor provides superior image quality, dynamic range, less noise, and more fine detail. Plus it opens the world of large format printing. Panasonic's even added their famous L monochrome picture profiles and combined with its built-in grain effect, you'll capture arguably the best black and white images of all all manufacturers, especially so considering the camera's excellent 3 centimeter macro mode, 11 frames per second burst shooting, fast f1.7 aperture, and versatile 3 times optical zoom. Overall, the LX100 II is a powerful all-rounder. Its predecessor was already an excellent camera for traveling photographers, but this update serves as a welcomed refresh to this particular lineup, and it's a great option for quality-conscious travelers who don't mind trading portability for image quality, but one that delivers near DSLR-like controls in a far more portable package. Coming in at number 8, Ricoh's GR3. Ricoh's GR3 is the 12th iteration of the GR lineup. Released in 2019, it features a brand new 24.2 megapixel APS-C size sensor, a 28 millimeter equivalent lens, and 1080p full HD video up to 60p. It also has three axis stabilization, a three inch touchscreen, a built-in ND filter, two gigabytes of built-in internal storage, multi exposures, time-lapse, interval composite, HDR, and wireless connectivity. It uses a brand new hybrid AF system with face detection, which offers superior performance over the previous generation. But notably, Ricoh's updated the sensor here this time, which is now 1.5 times larger than its predecessor's 16 megapixel sensor by contrast. This chain significantly boosts resolution and delivers better dynamic range, high ISO performance, and more freedom for post-production cropping. Additionally, the sensor lacks an anti-aliasing filter, further increasing fine details, yet they've also added 3-axis sensor stabilization, which delivers confidence when shooting at half-second shutter speeds to blur motion or improve low-light performance. It's also the first in the line to debut a touchscreen, greatly simplifying the user experience. And its bright 28mm f2.8 lens offers excellent macro capabilities with a 6cm macro mode, but it also delivers an exciting perspective that immerses the viewer without being too wide. However, if you prefer something more telephoto, you can use the 35mm or 50mm crop modes to alter the angle of view. Overall, Ricoh's GR3 is quite a powerhouse, yet it's palm sized and can easily slip into a jacket pocket. Sure, it may use a minimalist design without the fancy bells and whistles of rivals, and it's simple and very much understated, but it's discreet and its imagery impresses. Ricoh's achieved a masterful balance between portability and functionality, and it gets dangerously close to the ultimate point and shoot camera. Coming in at number 7, Fujifilm's X-T30. Fujifilm's X-T30 is their latest mid-range mirrorless camera. Released in 2019, it houses a 26.1 megapixel APS-C size sensor, 4K UHD 30p, and 1080p full HD video up to 120p. It also has a 3-inch tilting touchscreen, a microphone input, a tally lamp, zebras, log profiles, multi-exposures, time-lapse, and wireless connectivity. In many ways, the X-T30 is a miniature X-T3 with a similar high-end feature set without its high-end price tag. And one of its main features is the new 425 point phase detect AF system with face detection covering nearly the entire frame. It also obtains Fuji's full suite of film simulations, including their popular Eterna, Classic Chrome, and Acros simulations. And these profiles give its images and video a distinct vintage appeal, difficult to replicate otherwise. Plus, it obtains a similar 30 frames per second continuous burst rate without blackout, all in a package that's more compact and affordable. 
Overall, the Fujifilm X-T30 is a perfect opportunity to gain class-leading features from the pricier X-T3 at a far more approachable price tag. And as a package, it's a strong camera for quality conscious shooters wanting a versatile general purpose option. Coming in at number six, Canon's PowerShot G5X Mark II. Canon's G5X Mark II is their latest mid-range compact camera. Released in 2019, it features a 1 inch 20.1 megapixel stacked CMOS sensor, a 24 to 120 millimeter equivalent lens, 4K UHD 30p, and 1080p full HD video up to 120p. It also has a 3 inch flipping touchscreen, an electronic viewfinder, optical stabilization, a built in flash, panorama, time lapse, HDR, a built in ND filter, and wireless connectivity. It uses a 31-point contrast-based TTL AF system with face detection, but its key highlight feature is the 180-degree flipping touchscreen, which is a great option for selfies or vlogging on your trips. However, pro shooters will also rejoice knowing the camera offers full raw support. Yet, surprisingly, it does so boasting 20 frames per second continuous shooting, and it even offers 30 frames using the raw burst mode, which makes it wildly capable for capturing virtually anything unpredictable. And its fast f2.8 lens, 5x optical zoom, and relatively large sensor make it quite versatile and well suited across many lighting conditions. Overall, Canon's G5X Mark II offers similar capabilities to Sony's RX100 lineup with an equally fast lens but a longer zoom, and it's a strong all-rounder that combines a solid feature set with a good selection of advanced functionality. Sure, there are other more advanced cameras on the market, however very few combine such a versatile feature set at such a competitive price. Coming in at number 5, Olympus's Tough TG6. The Olympus TG6 continues their ongoing dominance in the adventure photography segment. Released in 2019, it features a 1 over 2.3 inch 12 megapixel sensor, a 25 to 100 millimeter equivalent lens, 4K UHD 30p, and 1080p full HD video up to 120p. It also has a 3 inch LCD, image stabilization, HDR, live composite, focus stacking, panorama, Time lapse, a 2 times teleconverter, and wireless connectivity. It uses a 25 point contrast AF system with face detection and a 4 times optical zoom lens with a fast f2 aperture. This lens is quite bright for a zoom lens of this range and greatly improves the low light image quality combined with its wide ISO range. The lens also offers a 1 cm super macro mode, which remains superior to rivals at this price point. But crucially, the TG6 is the toughest camera in this entire segment. Not only is it shock resistant up to 2.1 meters and crush proof to 100 kilograms, but it's also dust proof, freeze proof, and waterproof to 15 meters. Simply put, it's close to indestructible, and given its exhaustive weather ceiling, it shines as an underwater point and shoot camera, and one that delivers genuinely incredible images in this regard. Plus, it also offers manometers, a temperature sensor, and a compass in addition to standard GPS and GLONASS. So you're always aware of your environment and surroundings, not to mention raw shooting at 20 frames per second in 4K video, both of which are rare for underwater cameras. Overall, Olympus's TG6 is ideal for extreme adventure photographers who want class-leading toughness ready to withstand the elements of blatant abuse. Sure, it doesn't have a large sensor, but as a camera explicitly designed this way, it shines as the top option in the segment and a must given its durability and quality. Coming in at number 4, Panasonic's SZ200, also known as the TZ200. Panasonic's SZ200 is their latest compact zoom camera and direct response to Sony's high-end RX100 series. Released in 2018, it features a 1 inch 20.1 megapixel MOS sensor, a 24 to 360 millimeter equivalent lens, 4K UHD 30p, and 1080p full HD video up to 120p. It also has an electronic viewfinder, a 3 inch touchscreen, 5 axis hybrid stabilization, a built in flash, focus bracketing, 4K photo, 
HDR and wireless connectivity. It uses Panasonic's 49-point AF system with face and eye detection, and in size it remains similar to the earlier SZ models. However, it manages to squeeze in a much larger 1-inch sensor, substantially increasing its low-light performance. Plus, it has a redesigned lens, providing a class-leading 15 times optical zoom or 30 times intelligent zoom, a key selling feature in this segment. The camera even offers 10 frames per second burst natively or steps up to 30 frames using the 4K photo mode, and it receives the 4K auto marking feature, which detects motion automatically and sets appropriate markers to save time digging through the entire sequence along with the 4K live crop feature, which creates digital pans or zooms in camera without requiring the technique or post-processing software to do so. Overall, Panasonic's SZ200 is an excellent option for those wanting a compact all-in-one camera with plenty of manual controls, excellent image quality, and outstanding versatility. And as a challenger to Sony's RX100 lineup, it offers quite a package without the heftier price. Coming in at number 3, Olympus's EM10 Mark IV. Olympus's EM10 Mark IV is their latest release following the company's sale to JIP. Released in 2020, it features a brand new 20.3 megapixel live MOS sensor, Cinema 4K 24p, and 1080p full HD video up to 120p. It also has a 3-inch tilting touchscreen, an EVF, 5-axis stabilization, a built-in flash, multi-exposures, live composite, HDR, time-lapse, panorama, and wireless connectivity. It uses their 121-point high-speed imager AF system with the same algorithms from the EM1 Mark III, which results in a substantial improvement in overall performance. Also new for this release is a redesigned sensor, which is quite similar to the acclaimed Pen F and a notable update over its predecessor's 16-megapixel sensor by contrast. And combined with its 16 art filters, its images offer superior detail with a unique visual flair. Plus, unlike most rivals, it provides a stabilized sensor that compensates up to four and a half stops of shake reduction, allowing you to confidently shoot at half-second shutter speeds handheld. Overall, Olympus's EM10 Mark IV obtains several high-end pro-level features from their professional OMD lines, and it's a powerful entry-level mirrorless camera ideally suited for traveling that's easily the most stylish. Coming in at number 2, Fujifilm's X100V. Fujifilm's X100V is their latest option in the popular X100 lineup of premium street cameras. Released in 2020, it features a 26.1 megapixel APS-C size sensor, a fixed 23mm equivalent lens, DCI 4K 30p, and 1080p full HD video up to 120p. It also has a 3-inch tilting touchscreen, log profiles, an EVF, weather sealing, a built-in ND filter, zebras, panorama, multi-exposures, HDR, time-lapse, a tally lamp, and wireless connectivity. With this new model, Fuji's updated both the sensor and overhauled the autofocusing system, and it now uses Fuji's latest 425-point hybrid AF system, a system inherited from the X-T3. But crucially, the 23mm lens, now in its second iteration, has less distortion, better sharpness, and improved macro performance. The camera also brings 4K video to the lineup, a notable update over its predecessor's 1080p maximum, plus a tilting touchscreen to add much needed versatility when shooting at tricky angles, along with 11 frames per second burst, or 30 using the electronic shutter, and 17 classic film simulations. Overall, Fujifilm's X100V is an extensively polished release that's perfect for capturing street photography, and it follows the tradition of 1950s analog cameras, delivering the feeling of shooting 35mm film in the digital age, but it also simultaneously builds on the proven successes of the line and now remains the best option to date. Coming in at number one, Sony's RX107. Sony's RX107 is their latest release in the premium RX100 lineup. Released in 2019, it features a 1-inch 20.1 megapixel sensor, a 24 to 100 millimeter equivalent lens, 4K UHD 30p, and 1080p full HD video up to 120p. It also has a 3-inch flipping touchscreen, optical stabilization, a mic input, an EVF, vertical video, proxy recording, log profiles, time-lapse, panorama, 
HDR, zebras, a built-in flash, and wireless connectivity. It uses Sony's class-leading fast hybrid AF system with 357 phase and 425 contrast detect points. And combined, it delivers the fastest autofocusing of all compact cameras at just 0.02 seconds. It also obtains Sony's real-time AF, similar to the A6400, along with advanced eye detection for both humans and animals. Plus, the newly redesigned sensor now offers backside illumination, which provides faster readout speeds and better color and texture reproduction. The sensor makes 60 autofocusing calculations per second, allowing the camera to produce 20 frames per second bursts with autofocusing support or 90 frames using the single burst mode. These speeds match the flagship A9, and they make capturing decisive moments literally an afterthought. Not to mention, you also get the high frame rate mode, which shoots up to 1000 frames per second in camera. Overall, it's clear why Sony's RX107 is the top traveling camera. Inside this compact body is everything required to take stunning photos and videos. You get a camera with remarkable telephoto abilities using its eight times optical or four times clear image zoom and one that receives several class leading professional capabilities from the flagship A9. Yet in a form that fits easily into a jacket pocket. The RX100 packs a punch in features and will easily please any skill level, from beginners to experts. While it may not be cheap, if you want the best, this is it. So there you have it, my friends. There's our list for the top 10 best travel cameras. For more information on this list, look at the pinned comment in the description down below, and that will take you right to our full post where you can read the full guide on picking travel cameras. If you're already on our website, scroll down and you'll be able to read that full guide right now. I've been your host, Devon Lennox. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found the contents of today's video insightful and it added value to you. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Also, leave us a like and a comment in the description down below. Let us know if we overlook something or we missed something that we covered in today's video. I've been your host, Devon Lennox, photography. <laughs>